part A of the given problem, the object displacement we have is uh, D is equal to DF, the final uh, minus D initial. That is a minus 8 meter I plus 6 meter in J direction plus 2 meter in the K direction. Um, using a work definition, that is work is equal to force times displacement. We multiply uh, these two vectors using a dot product rule. This gives us uh, 3 times uh, minus 8 plus 7 times 6 plus 7 times 2. The work done will be equal to then 32 joules. Part B of the problem, the average power Average power by definition is given by work done per unit time. Work done we just found is a 32 joules. Divided by time given is a 4 seconds. This gives us 8 watts. Part C. Uh, the distance from the coordinate origin to the initial position is given by a di. So the magnitude of a di will be simply square root of uh, 3 square plus minus 2 square plus 5 square. This gives us 36.16 meter. Um, then df will be square root of again minus 5 square. So minus 5 square plus 4 square plus 7 square. This gives us uh, df to be 9.49 meter. Their scalar product will be di dot df will be uh, simply 12 meter square. Then um, the angle between these two vectors can be written as phi is equal to cos inverse of uh, di dot df dot product of these two vectors divided by their magnitude di df. And this is cos inverse of um, 12 divided by 6 Point one six times nine point four nine. This gives us an angle of uh, taking sine inverse of this value inside the bracket gives us seventy eight point two degrees.